Hello everyone, sorry here and today we are going to play Nidal Ignar Transform deck. This is an old archetype that changed a lot since it uh, it first came out. Now we're running the new landmark, the Wings Giving, which works with our big game Tycoon and it also works with where is he Nakotak with curious changelings and with our where is he risu so the plan is play nakotak play curious uh have the landmark on the board play risu transform risu because risu is creating a 7-3 impact right ignore this focus on risu transforms the one three risu into a six cost that is much stronger than the one three uh nakotak is gonna buff it up changeling is gonna transform into it now if we do have big game tycoon and the nice thing about the landmark is we can transform multiple times so even if we transform first time we still have two other times we can transform so play big game tycoon we at, we at least need one more transform then we transform one more time and we get to double the stats of that uh unit go for one big swing we're looking for keywords like overwhelm or elusive i think at eight cost we can find some good uh overwhelm nine cost also aren't too bad uh we can check them here actually yeah like we can get uh nine cost actually nine cost isn't too good eight cost uh we can uh, it's not uh, it's from all regions my bad so we can check you can check them here uh i think someone had stats but i can't really find it anymore uh on uh the hits you can get so overwhelm it gives you like good uh nine cores gives you eight cores give you some good stuff right we got uh fearsome we have uh, i'm pretty sure there's overwhelm here somewhere there we go so eight cores has really good hits you can get nine cores you can get commander ladros uh a bright seal formation but they're not really as good as the eight cores we got also a warden of the tribes but like think the, the warden of the tribes doesn't look really big right it's a 6-6 six, six. we don't really have subtypes but the big game tycoon is buffing the stats of this guy it's doubling it so now it's a 12-12 if you have nakutak you're even buffing it even more and you go for one big swing and potentially end the game also if it already had a stat buff it's gonna keep those stat buff with the overwhelm another overwhelm another overwhelm if you go 10 cost but this is a bit difficult to get to but you can achieve it so that's pretty much the idea of the deck we will take it to ladder and we'll see how it goes without further ado here we go all right we're against shivana silver morgan I, I have no idea what this is well i guess we'll find out uh i'm gonna full mole and try to look for my combo plays uh we find two of them now we need just need the landmark and we're pretty much set uh yeah i'm not sure how aggressive this deck can be right now we're kind of chilling we do have ignore we have curious on three so we're not really burning any mana right now which is really good if i play this now i could transform it next turn which i'm not really against i guess oh i forgot i can't transform this turn i guess that's fine if i give it for free i i, I don't know why my brain thought Oh, I'm attacking this turn. So next turn they attack, it won't die. But I mean, this is fine. We, we traded. It's not the worst for us. Uh, that makes me playing Gnar awkward. Because Gnar now dies to this. I could give him this for free, I guess. Uh, that's annoying as well. If I give him this, it's just gonna die here. I guess I give him Gnar. It is what it is. So Gnar goes here, Curious goes here. They might have a form up, which would be a bit bad. But uh, we'll see. Oh. Okay, that's the play, I guess. Uh, I can kill this. Still no landmark though, so that's kind of sad. That's really good. So let's go Risu here. And we can swing with this right now. Yeah, right now they have to sack this to kill it. So I'm kind of happy with that. And we'll see what we do next time. 
I feel like this is way too much valuable for the plus one plus one, but that's okay. Uh, the plan now. They have a landmark destruction, which is really bad for us now. Uh, the plan now is on turn, uh, not on our next attack, attack turn, the one afterwards, we'll set up the combo, right? You think they'll open here? Oh. Sure. I don't want to transform. Hmm. I'm not really happy with this too much. I could just do this and chill. What I'm scared of, I guess, is a form up here because this doesn't die. That's really nice. I don't know if they run landmarks or anything like that. No idea. So I'm just gonna go for a uh, keyword removal. I could maybe remove potential challenger or something like that. Until we figure out what we want to do. But right now I'm playing this guy, right? And I'm kind of staying on the defense. Because next turn I'm planning to play the towering dude. Uh, I could go for another one. I don't really mind. But yeah, the plan is to go with this and uh, that's fine. Challenger. Uh, yeah, if they develop, we're chilling. Oh, they just dropped their whole hand here. Amazing. So we play this and now we got to transform it. Like that's, that's just insane, right? Like, what do you do from here? Let me kill this. Block here. Block this. Don't really need this anymore. Just stay on the defense now. Uh, the opponent is like a big... They're in big trouble here. I don't see them making any sort of comeback. Let's pass here. Alright, another overwhelm dude, but yeah, opponents are under, GG is GG. Alright, we're against Gangplank Nor. This is a... This is a pink deck. So, we need some early stuff. I'm gonna keep these, it's kind of greedy. But uh, I want the combo to stay in my hand. Uh, if we can find like a 1-drop or a 2-drop would be... Would be awesome. No. And we still have Nak attack, so it's not really the end of the world, but opponent can uh, aggro, aggro us down if they drop like something like a Marai here or something. That's really good. So now we have, uh, we have a blocker to do stuff. Yeah, that does look like a Marai. That's kind of nice for us. I'll drop this now so I can block the Marai. I'm uh, still pushing 3 damage for them, but at least... Uh, at least... Uh, it doesn't stick on the board, right? Like, it's gone. I don't have to keep worrying about it. I'll go Nako attack here. And kind of chill now. Uh, so the plan is... I can attack with this Nako attack. I don't think they want to block. Uh, they want to save this elusive so they can uh, trigger their gangplank, right? Yeah, they're, so I think they have a gangplank in hand. And they're trying to turbo level them up. Which is a bit bad for us. But we'll see how it goes. This is really nice to remove Overwhelm off of Gangplank. Buys me some time. Uh, Gnar, this turn. Oh, I'm gonna get aggroed here. Alright, we'll go Gnar. Yeah, this is kind of bad. Because I'm getting aggroed right now. We're down to 12. Next time they attack, we're down to 8. We'll see if they take it or not, yeah. Mm. Next time we're at 7 mana, right? I could maybe... 
finish the game next time. Potentially. I need to play this. Morning shot. Yeah, he's leveling next turn. My main problem is them uh, leveling him up like burst speed. That would be kind of bad. Well, we'll see what we do. Let us take a peek at life beneath the wave. I think I'm gonna transform this Nako attack. I just one mana thing, see what we can get. Because Nako attack will buff it up, right? Uh, yeah, this is kind of the best right now. Can do some blocking for us. Right now, we're technically at 7 HP. Once these elusives attack. And we have a gangplank attacking that's pushing 1 damage 100%. We're down to 6 HP. Right? That's a good draw. I just don't know if I have the, the mana to play it. We'll see. Alright, so let me jump this guy. So we can have some blockers. Uh, if they don't drop burst speed, I could play this and remove the overwhelm, and maybe we're chilling a little bit. Okay, no burst speed. Not attacking with this. Hmm. We're down to seven. They have a couple of kegs here. They have two kegs next turn. Let's transform this to something stronger. Scout isn't too bad. We'll see what they do next turn. I could scout try to kill this first, but yeah, I don't really like that too much. Let's do this first. I will see what they do. I have to try and win this turn if possible. This could be a stun by the way. So the thing I'm not too sure about is uh, if I transform it, right, while it's stunned, does the stun go away? I've never done it. If I do it now, I will probably lose the game. So maybe I don't do it. I think the best option for me is to play the big guy and transform this and call it a day. I guess we do it for science. I will do it for science. I, I will remove all doubts so we can know at least. So I'll do this and we'll transform it. I feel like it should remove because it's transforming it to a completely new new character, right? But the, the thing is the impacts are sticking. So maybe the stun sticks as well. I'm not too sure. drain oh it does stick unfortunate it does stick sadly it does actually stick so this is bad this is giga bad we have healing though so maybe the healing will help us later on Yeah, this is awful. But this could have swung and the fearsome can't be blocked by these. So Gangplank would have had to, to block here. 
This is fine. I'm, I'm healing when they do that. Like, this is okay for me. You wanna kill it? Go ahead. I'm not upset about it. And uh, my biggest problem is when Gangplank swing is pushing two damage on the attack. I can deal with the overwhelm. It's not a biggie. Uh, I have a uh, right of negation, so that's fine. And I have po pokey pi poke stick. I was gonna say Pytos for some reason. I have a pokey stick to remove the keg if I really have to. Well, I guess we now know, know that the, the stun actually sticks, it doesn't go away. You are welcome. We did it for science, and now we know we won't make them play anymore. So we need to block. This dying also is healing me, right? Technically, we are being healed. So let's block with this. And I want to quicksand. There is literally no reason not to quicksand now. Because what I think they want to do is I think they want to play wallop maybe stun this and get to push the overwhelm damage but by me quick sanding and ensuring this doesn't push any damage like we're happy we're chilling I'm not sure why the spytos is going down to zero shouldn't go down to one. Oh, it reduced by two I remember it reduced by one only not by two maybe they changed it Ah, like we healed up we're pretty chilling here and uh, we can play this and chill i could have even played uh vastaya as well whatever this might be going here face Hard drop. But these are uh, fleeting. Why do it now? Oh, for next turn. Next turn. Oh, I forgot so many cards. It's sad. It's actually sad. All right, let me transform this and play this. They're fleeting, but they they draw them next turn. Look at this Gnar though, 24, like Gnar can swing on his own and win the game But we need to attack with everything because he could have a wall up in hand But I have a Vastaya, I have a, a right of negation Like the only way I could lose if they have like 6 warning shots And they only have 4 cards so it's not gonna happen But yeah, GG's, GG's Alright, we're playing uh, mirror matchup, I'm gonna move these away I'll keep uh, Risu and uh, Curious and we found the landmark So we kinda have everything we need now we just need to get to turn uh, 5 and we start doing our thing uh, right now we don't really have any plays i could jam nidali here the problem with jamming nidali is i can't transform her and if they play pythos she's dead so i'm gonna pass here and see what they do pythos into the pastry she's dead right so if they develop anything for one mana then yeah i can play her no oh, okay ah uh, but it could be the challenger guy so that changes also things let me chill i don't want to play it right now nakotak nakotak is awful for me here nakotak is super awful for me here so i guess i have to develop something here i can't just let them do whatever they want yeah, so I've kind of expected something like that. I just don't want to get super aggroed right now. Oh my, that's so bad for them. Because now I can transform their Turnidale and it kills. It forces a one mana spell out of them or a Pythos, which is fine. Okay, they understand, right? So I'm not gonna play this because I don't need it. But I could quicksand instead. And that lets me keep this Nidali alive, right? Which is important to keep it alive here. It forces a one mana spell though if they do have it. Uh, yeah, it, it would kill it, yeah. It would kill it. Alright, so we go curious here. Or I could go landmark. I like them going the landmark. And just chilling. I will see what the point wants to do. Because 
uh, when I'm going landmark here, next turn we go Risu and we transform the Risu, right? Uh, I could go for a swing here, transform, go for a swing. I have their scent. And we push some damage. They can't really block this. And we'll take the 5 damage, right? That's free 5 damage here. And let's pass. So now they want to... They want to play something that transforms and maybe transform this. They could get the Ovoam guy and that would be giga bad for us. Let's play the Risu here. And we get something and we'll see what they transform here. The Ovoam guy would be awful for us. But we can block and kill him. Uh, and also I, I used my quicksand early on so I can't really shut down the Ovoam damage. Uh, okay, let's transform. So this doesn't become a free kill for them. Yeah, this works. A little bit hard to kill if the, if it if this is not the over one. So we're fine. Nidali can kill it, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Nidali is busted. So Nidali do, does kill it. But I mean, it's still fine. It's still fine for the time being. The plan right now is to play the curious and start the transforming process, right? And we do have a big game tycoon to maybe carry us later on. Uh, we can go for a six mana. We're gonna destroy this landmark, which is fine. I'm gonna get the value out of it. So let's do this. See what we got. Mm, not the best. All right, let's take this. And we can swing. And I don't think Nidali wants to block, but if, if she blocks, that's still fine for me. This is still a lot of damage. This is impact 3, by the way. I could have even played another landmark and transformed again, but I don't really like that too much. Oh, they took it. Oh, that's a lot of damage, by the way. That's insanely a lot of damage. I might actually go with this, to be fair. Just to get... Uh, just to get... Uh, an overwhelm shot down, right? An overwhelm shutdown would be really nice. I don't need to do it now. I can do it next turn. Yeah, like right now we're kind of chilling, right? I'm gonna wait next turn. Because then she transforms. And then I can shut it down. Oh, that's also really nice. So my, my plan right now is to play this, play this, play this, if, ooh. Uh, I'm not gonna pass, I'm not gonna pass, I'm going for the win next turn. I'm gonna go for the win, so I'll play this and see what they wanna do about it. So we have mana for everything, right? Oh no, oh, no we don't have mana for everything, unfortunately. So I have to decide on one of these. Oh, they don't have board space. Wait, that's sad. Uh... Yeah, like, this is just sad. Like, I didn't have to do anything anymore. We, we were pretty chilling. Uh, but yeah, GG's, GG's. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.